Hello everyone, this is Pauk's Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. I also want to remind you that some of our video courses are already available. Buy them if you haven't done it yet, we would really appreciate your support. Today we'd like to show you how to make a horizontal inseam pocket. This is just a mock-up. This is a flap pocket. We'll show you how to make a similar pocket without a flap. We'll make a sample of the front with a horizontal inseam pocket. We need two pocket bag details, an underlay piece and a piece of the interfacing material. First, we need to mark the location of the pocket opening. In our case, it will be 15 cm wide. Make small notches here. I remind you that when sewing the garment, you need to mark the position of the pockets at the fitting. We are making a pocket in the center of the mock-up. You need to make sure that the pockets are beautiful and comfortable. We've cut a stripe of the interfacing material. It was cut on the lengthwise grain. We need to double the lower part of the pocket opening with it. It's a must to do it. It should be done for the pocket opening not to stretch. Let's also iron the pocket bags and the underlay piece. We're going to edge the underlay piece with an overlocker off the camera. Have a close look here. We've edged the underlay piece with an overlocker off the camera. We've pinned the underlay piece to one of the pocket bag details. Next, we need to stitch them. Try to make a seam as close to the overlocker stitching as possible. Have a look here. We've stitched the underlay piece to one of the pocket bag details. Let's have a look at the mock-up once again. The notches mark the position of the pocket opening. One of the details is doubled with the interfacing material, and the second one is not. The double detail is the lower one. Next, we need to stitch the pocket bag detail, the one without the underlay piece, to the lower part of the mock-up. Pin it according to the notches and then stitch. Be very attentive, please. We are going to stitch three edges. Do not forget to make back stitches in the beginning and the ends of the seams. First, we need to stitch the detail for about 1 cm and move it. We should make a horizontal seam here. The width of this seam is 1 cm. Be very attentive, please. Stitch the detail up to the notch. These angles should be right. Do not forget about the back stitch. Have a close look at the seam. There will be one centimeter wide seam here, 
This is why we made it 1 cm wide here as well. Next, we need to cut the extra piece from the seam. We need to make the seam allowance about 5 mm wide. Make notches in the angles carefully. Next, we need to top stitch the details. We need to stitch the seam allowance towards the pocket back side. The width of the seam is 1 mm. Be very attentive, please. Very nice. The seam is neat. Next, we need to iron it. Have a look at this frame. This is how it looks like from the right side and from the wrong side. Let's go back to the sewing machine. The lower detail is ready. It's doubled with the interfacing material and there's a pocket bag attached to it. Next, we need to pin it to the other pocket bag detail, the one with the underlay piece. We've pinned the details. This is how the pocket is going to look like. Fold the front this way to stitch the pocket back. Be very attentive, please. Natalie is stitching the pocket back details together. You can pin the details for stitching if you need to. I remind you that we are making a mock-up. To stitch the other side, we need to fold the front detail as well. Stitch right up to the edge. We've stitched the pocket bags, the three edges. This technique is used for making pockets in lined garments. If your garment is not lined, you need to edge the bag with a novel locker. Be very attentive now. We need to stitch the two front details. Be very attentive, the notches should match. Make sure that they are accurate, this is very important. Natalie is going to make a horizontal seam here. The width of the seam is 1 cm. Be 
Будьте внимательны, вот в этом месте, где начинается рамочка, вот здесь вот она прощупывается. Вот, Наташа чувствует ее пальчиками. Be very careful when stitching along the seam. Control the process with the fingers. Natalie is making a horizontal seam on the front. There is a pocket in the seam. Gamas with such details look very stylish. Have a look at the result. This is the right side. Perfect. There is an underlay piece here. This is actually a concealed pocket. Let's go back to the ironing desk. Iron the pocket gently. The detail looks very beautiful. If you are making a garment of strong cotton, you can top stitch the detail. You can also make seams here. They will make the pocket look very interesting. Let's do it, Natalie. Before making the decorative stitching, I'd like to show you the wrong side. I want to pay attention to the fact that the seam is pressed upwards. You can decorate the pocket with a flap. It's up to you whether to do it or not. It's up to you whether to top stitch the pocket or not. It's just a matter of the design choice. Be creative. Use your imagination. We've decided to top stitch the detail. The width of the seam is 1 mm. We are basically stitching the seam allowance upwards. This is a very useful technique. We've top stitched the seam. It's also possible to top stitch the pocket itself. But it should be done right after stitching these details. Think about such things in advance. Be creative. We'll also make back stitches here to mark the pocket opening. We need to make one more. Next, we need to iron the pocket once again, for the last time. We need to cut the threads and go back to the ironing desk. This is the final ironing. Be very attentive and careful when ironing the details from the right side. Have a look at the mock-up. We made a horizontal in-seam pocket on the front. We've also top-stitched the seam. We were glad to show you this technique. We think that it's very useful. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. We're Ira and Natalie. Buy our courses, subscribe to this channel, write comments, share the videos, press like and the bell buttons. We would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.